Welcome back to Deep Thought. We're going through Sonic Adventure 2, and now it's time to start concluding the dark story, and we do it with a pre-rendered expulsion in the background. That looked the shit in 2001. Hold on, didn't <laughs> didn't Sonic blow up in an earlier cutscene? And was that just Sonic blowing up again? I think it was like just a multi-take sort of thing. Like this might be what was going on from where Shadow was, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, oh god. I feel like he's just gonna go cross-eyed at any minute and his pupils are just gonna <laughs> come into contact and then form into one. Yeah, they're gonna swap which side's which. I'm yeah. actually the Biohawk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh god, um, this is the part where, I mean, as if it isn't already obvious, the story kind of started literally, legitimately yeah, le no, no. Legitimately confusing me. Yeah, I, see, I get the story because I've probably the number of times I've played this game starts to finish is probably in triple figures at this point, but it is a little bit all over the place. And there we see a slight glimpse of the prototype, oh, and that's, that's about it. Oh, that's what I was talking about in the last yeah. part. I was in yeah. Like, it's, oh, so Shadow isn't actually the ultimate life form, but he... I mean, he kept getting referred to as the ultimate life form, especially in last story. But oh no, there's actually a prototype for the ultimate, the ultimate, ultimate life form. And uh, it my head, my head oh, hurts. What's the prototype of the ultimate life form? My ultimate life form is ultimate than your life form. <laughs> yes, it's more ultimate than it will ever be. No, I have more power. No, I have more power than you. <laughs> yeah, and then there's, there's this whole thing where, oh yeah, you might not even be the real Shadow, so... And they... I'm gonna... You know, I'll talk about it later, because... I mean, there's still the whole thing we have to address of Shadow at the end of this game, and then the continuation of this series from then. But we'll get to that soon. We'll get to that disaster when we get to it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, the last stage of the dark story, final chase. It's like final rush, but less interesting to me. I know I said before something along the lines of I prefer this to final rush, but no. Again, I played this game very recently, and I was just like, nah, fam. Yeah. Uh, I don't like either level. I think they're both absolute shite to be honest but uh, yeah I'd rather play Final Rush than this garbage yeah I don't care for Final Chase as much as like pretty much about the same as Final Rush I still think it's not a very good level but somehow I didn't mind Final Chase as much as Final Rush I don't like these green things that's what kills it for me the green things like they're really fiddly sometimes they sort of reset themselves halfway out no, time she sort me off is through. artificial chaos placement towards the end of the level which I suppose that too. is because I just found myself getting raped into bottomless pits by them for <laughs> yeah just uh, knock just... back yeah there's one part involving a hook oh a grabby yeah. thingy and uh it's just, oh, fuck this level, fuck this level. Yeah, it was pretty tricky to get A rank on this level, but, it, I mean, it wasn't as bad as Final Rush. And I think it's because there are grinds in here. There's Israel grinding, because, I mean, it's it's got the word final in it, so of course it does. <laughs> yeah. But, um, um, there isn't as much as there was in Final Rush, because Final Rush is basically all rails. Yeah. This is kind of rails and a gravity window mechanic that... I'll be honest, it's still unnecessary, and I really wish this wasn't in here. But it, I, I didn't hate it as much as other gravity mechanics. Like a certain level that rhymes with a bad base. <laughs> More like bad place in space. Get, get that shit out of my face. Um, <laughs> yeah, but so again, Final Che, it's okay. It's not great. It's probably the worst um, shadow stage, but I mean, all the shadow stages are at the best. Oh, basically, okay. Yeah, like I said, my favorite one was White Jungle, and Sky Rail was not as good. Just too short. So, um, but yeah, this one I didn't. It didn't really bother me that much. No, I uh, had my rage moments with this one. 
See, I know I'm kind of the contrarian here right now, but I, as someone who actually really likes Final Rush, this level just feels like a sort of much less interesting bastardization of that. Yeah. It's Probably, like yeah. there's less stuff going on, and the stuff that is going on is these really obnoxious, like, gravity drum things that don't fucking work, and they just get in the way. There's, like... The grind rolls, there's less places that you can just sort of jump past bits and get a better oh, time so and shit. Oh, it's so easy to, like, just slip and die. Yeah, oh, that yeah, too. Definitely. Yeah, that still is very present throughout this level, unfortunately. Yeah, Final Rush has more layers, I find. Like, it's... There's several layers of grind rolls in a lot of the parts, so if you know where you're jumping, you can, like, just play the level a lot more efficiently and it just it makes it more replayable and it just more interesting as a whole I suppose but yeah we're pretty much it well <sighs> um I the the gravity mechanic like I said the gravity mechanics in here I didn't really mind them that much and except for these last couple parts towards the end I and some parts in the beginning I did my best to kind of avoid having to deal with those whole things because there are some parts where you can kind of jump to the top oh, of them and that could to... easily have killed you, and that's part of the trouble. Oh, this is the dick! This is the dick! Yeah, fuck this that is the guy. dick! <laughs> yeah, um, the... with jumping and stuff, it's weird how that works because if you get hit by an enemy if you're trying to jump them, then you have like one last chance to kind of get like a rebound of sorts uh, to get back into the. Um, the swing of things or something to get yourself back on your feet. Now this run down section here, so to cut you off, is a case of just keep holding down and hope that you don't get stuck between where two of the things join because then oh, that can is... happen to you and oh, then Jesus. the meteors hit you. How did you survive <laughs> that? You I, I got skills, brah. I got skills. If that was me, I would have died. <laughs> Still, again, not that great of a level. I wish that gravity mechanic was scrapped completely. I wish it would just go away. But it's over, and we never have to deal with it again. Until next time I play the game, which probably won't be long, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh it's this another... cutscene again. Yeah, another familiar cutscene. Um... I really do like this dialogue. I think it is actually pretty well written. Like, it's a very good build up to the boss fight. Which, um, is pretty much the same thing as the last final Shadow vs. Sonic boss fight. And the, by that, I mean, I don't know what to do. It just, you spam him and Spin he dies. Him for the first three hits. Then, um, I know the tornado is a pain in the ass to dodge, uh, but t it, it's kind of just like, then keep, you basically have to stand still then after the first three hits, wait for him to do his attack, or kind of just stay behind him a little bit. Yeah, just well, I mean, those, they work, but they're so inconsistent in the way that they work that it, it just makes me frustrated, like, it gives me the impression that no, this is not what you're actually supposed to do. You're actually supposed to do this. And, uh, God, yeah, I, I don't, I still don't like this boss right. See, I usually fight. spam homing attacks for at least the first few hits, and that just sort of wears him down, and after yeah. that, you know, I just keep on. After that, I, he won't, like, be susceptible to it unless he's weak after doing an attack. Unless you, some, I find that if you properly mash, then it normally breaks through him. It, uh, again, that's a little bit hit and miss, but you know, it does it does the job eventually. Yeah, and there, there's this the whole thing when a character falls behind in this fight, they use chaos control to mm -hmm. kind of um, uh, like well get back in front of you. I know how that would easily work for Shadow because he's so experienced with it. Or I I, I guess I'm gonna say that very loosely, but um, <laughs> Sonic has that um. That fake ass chaos emerald that he's gonna use to throw to destroy the whole cannon. How does this work very consistently? Because, I mean, you saw that cutscene before in Hero Story where he basic where he got really weak after using chaos control to save himself from the capsule. It now just he's suddenly able to just do it. 
Yeah, it's hmm. just weird. Yeah. Just God. Hmm. I'll use your chaos control. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't even finish the line. God bless this sound direction. Yeah. There's also something um I feel the need to point out as well. Those stars in the background, um in the space levels. Like Eternal Engine and um, Lost Colony. Well, those Colony stars don't and... twinkle, and the moon doesn't shine. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There, it's basically a JPEG, <laughs> a giant ass JPEG. Yeah, very giant... stressed JPEG. <laughs> to be not... fair, it's probably more of a bitmap or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It looks very like you know stretched. And shit. Yeah, yeah. When you notice that, you really, you do realize, you really do truly realize that you are basically in a room that's not really space. Yeah. This is the space room of the arc. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, and after that fight, what do we get? Do we get anything more with Sonic and Shadow? Nope! Eggman goes to the laser. <laughs> You're so threatening, Eggman. It's the Empire of Eggman, and he throws it in there. What if that missed? <laughs> Would have thrown to the bottom of the pit and it would have ruined your plans. God, he's such an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> I think this is more of a proper lead into the final story. Uh, yeah. yeah. I suppose. It's a nice little cliffhanger, I guess. And now, as the credits roll and we've kind of run out of things to talk about, I'll think of something. All right, both of you two. Um, all six characters, rank them from best to worst in terms of stages, the stages they're in. Will uh, I go first? Yeah, go on, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, best to worst. Uh, best, uh, Sonic, then Egg... No, Sonic, uh, this is going to be controversial, but then Knuckles, then Eggman, uh, then... Uh, fuck. How many... That's three. Uh... Who are the other characters? <laughs> <laughs> I think we're actually highlighting a problem in itself here. Tails. Yeah. Ru no, tail. Ta oh, the tail. Tails, tail sh Shadow Rouge. Mm. I would. I'd say like the best ones are Sonic and Shadow. Just like Shadow gets the short end of the stick, but like they're still speed levels. They're still like Sonic-ish gameplay. And I'd say probably. I put Eggman and Tails on the same sort of level. Eggman a little bit above, then Knuckles, then Rouge at the bottom. <laughs> this song fuck has Mad really grown on me, by the way. I do like Throw It All Away. It is a really good song. I like how the song "Let the Speed Mend It" in Secret Rings actually has a very similar melody to it, like lyrically, yeah. other than vocals at least. All right, my turn. Um. Sonic stages are the best, because, I mean, it's Sonic stages. They're the best consistently, and even the last few stages, I still found some fun with them. Um, this is a little controversial. I think Eggman. Like, mm. I liked his stages a lot. Um, Sand Ocean was the one, only one that I really didn't care for, but even then, I still was really entertained by Eggman's stages. Um, Shadow's next. Um, he's not as good as Sonic, but as Blaine pointed out, he is still speed, and that's kind of what this game was built for. Um, Knuckles is next. I had some fun with Knuckles stages, but they're still more frustrating than they are fun too much. Tails, because, well, first off, he just doesn't fit as well as Eggman does, and his levels, the levels themselves that he's in, are meh at best and annoying at worst. And then we have Rouge, who doesn't have any good stages at all, and fuck Mad Space. Yeah. I think no matter who you are, when you play Sonic Adventure 2, the one sentence that everyone shares is fuck Mad Space. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, God, I, I, I can't imagine anyone out there who likes Mad Space. And if you do, I envy Why? you. <laughs> Why? No, I That's envy what I you. That's know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. And then we get a little preview for last story, but I mean, well, we gotta watch Sonic rotate here again, because of course we do. And then we get a little preview of last story, and... <sighs> this is so, this is like so misleading, it's like a thing for a Christian, like, youth group or something. Yeah, this is like inducing you into the cult of Shadow the Hedgehog <laughs> or something. 
All right, bow your heads low, motherfuckers. Uh, <laughs> See you in the next episode, guys. Last story.